Homie, I'm revving yeah. my brakes, just protecting my investment. Oh. Ask about me, integrity's not a question. Ladies and gentlemen, this amateur featherweight battle is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, introducing out of the B2 blue corner. His record stands at one win and one loss. His height, five feet, nine inches. His weight, 145.1 pounds. He trains with Rufus Port MMA and comes to you from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. His name is Zachary Achilles Fleissens. And his opponent across the cage in the one more gym red corner. His record stands at three wins and one loss. His height, five feet, 11 inches. His weight, 146 pounds. He trains with JG MMA and comes to you from Warren County, Ohio. His name is Jake Halsey. Zach Flessis and the iconic black and yellow Rufus Sport trunks. Jake Halsey in the solid black. Yeah, Halsey with the iconic JG. Good head position there from Zachary Flessis right away. Flessis doing a good job of keeping Halsey. Oh, Ooh, nice wizard toss right there. Zach was able to recover. Yeah, but Flessis right back up with that right side under hook and head position, just peppering in punches, going to work. Again, you see this Rufus Sport cage control work right here. That's played out so well tonight for these guys. Just head inside, single leg, right to the takedown. Almost looked effortless for Zachary Flesses there. But now Jake Halsey working an active guard. Get that left butterfly hook in there. You see him controlling the right arm right there, Zach Flesses. Halsey doing a good job of reclaiming his full guard, and this is a position where Halsey can work. He's got that left side overhook. We see so many submissions from this exact spot. Halsey working for this arm bar here. It was a really good setup. I like that. It looked like he was trying to attack the right arm all the while. He was setting up and spinning his hips to attack the left arm in that arm bar. Halsey doing a good job of sweeping under the leg, making sure he doesn't get picked up and slammed. Beautiful transition. But Fless is doing a good job, good defense, stacking Jake Halsey. Oh, Halsey looking to come underneath this corkscrew arm bar. That's a tight arm bar, that yeah. corkscrew arm bar. If he can spin through onto that, that is a tight arm bar. Looks like he let that go. Flesses, he's safe right now, but I mean, he's been defending for almost two straight minutes. Definitely. Out in the full guard here, Zach Flesses. Yeah, and if I'm Zach Flesses here, maybe I just stand up. Um, the active guard of Jake Halsey was so good right away. Jake Halsey's throwing up a lot of stuff right now, doing really good, keeping an active guard, keeping his legs, controlling the distance. Every time that Zach stands up, he's doing a really good job. Very active guard. Looked like Halsey wanted to get maybe one more hip bump sweep there or something, looking to solidify his position at the end of this round. Zach Flessis is gonna to need to do a little bit more here in this closed guard. You can't just lay here and just pin somebody's hips to the mat. The referee's gonna stand you up. And then do a little more, he does. Posture's up, good punches from Zach Flessis. Here's that 10 second bell. Starts to go to work. Leave an exclamation on this first round in the eye of the judges. I'm really impressed with the guard of Jake Halsey. Zach Flessis was doing a really good job of controlling on top, working to pass that guard. Every single time he got past that guard, Jake Halsey would get him right back in the guard and throw up a submission. As you see the arm bar right here, we're looking at on the replay. He originally had looked like he was going to attack the right arm of Zach Flessis, maybe for a sweep or a butterfly sweep and transition into the left arm for an arm bar. Very, very good sweep using the arm from 
Jake Halsey. Zach Plessis looked at his arm. He says he's good. No big deal. And Plessis not even taking the stool. He wants his opponent to know he is fresh. He's ready to continue fighting. Definitely in shape. Those Rufus Sport guys are always well prepared and in shape. Zach Pless is showing it off here by no stool in between rounds. As we start off round two. Ooh, a hard right hand right there. Jake Halsey landed a hard right hand. Zach Flesses took him to the ground and Jake was right back up to his feet. Boy, Halsey just coming with the fire here to start this second round. Maybe he thought he was a little lackadaisical in the first round. Flesses doing a good job of posting. Great time takedown there. That was a Zach really nice combination right there. The one, two, level change right into that takedown. Halsey's on this Kimura trap here on the left side. This can be really dangerous. Flesses needs to address this. And even if Halsey's not able to completely finish the Kimura, you can use this Kimura trap in so many ways. There's so many attacks from this. There's sweeps and many different submissions. That Kimura trap is a very dangerous position, but he let go of it. Good job of Flesses there to wait out the danger. And Halsey in a bad spot here with his back on the cage. Fless is just going to town with the ground and pound. Fless is doing a good job of wrapping up those legs, trying to suck the hips out of Halsey away from that cage, trying to prevent him from cage walking and getting back to his feet. We see Flesses with the legs entangled of Jake Halsey. Jake Halsey needs to get probably both hands to the mat right now. Don't worry about these pitter pat punches. Get his back to the mat solid and try to get to his feet. Jake Halsey right here in his own one more gym red corner. Lots of great advice coming from him right now, but Fles is just all over Jake Halsey, not allowing much room. Although Halsey does have double unders and uses them to stand up. But Fles is right back on this single leg. Fles is just relentless oh. with the strikes, takedown attempts. Good body kick there from Flesis. No break in action here tonight in our B2 Fighting Series cage. These guys are leaving it all on the round here, all on the mat in round two here. An absolute barn burner of a fight right now. Fles is throwing, Halsey throwing, and Fles is clearly wants to get this back to the ground and just put in work. Fles is just relentless with that takedown. Right away moves into full mount. Halsey so far just not able to stop the takedowns of Zach Flesis. Is Flesis on the neck here? Can't tell no. where we're at, Alex, but he does have one hook in. Again, a bad spot for Jake Halsey. Flesis just all over. 10 Jake seconds Halsey. left in here in round two. Is Halsey going to survive to see round three? Not much time left. Flesis says, I'm not going to worry about a choke. I'm just going to punch you. Exciting fight here tonight. Rufus Sport, George Gorgel. Who's going to come out and win round three? And, well, and Zachary Flesses so far has called his shot. He said that he was going to be better everywhere, you know, except for the armbar tip. He's, he's looked better everywhere. He's doing a really good job of combining combinations with the takedown attempts. He's doing really good on the cage. He looks all like a well-rounded fighter. You would expect nothing less out of a Rufus Sport MMA fighter. Again, we see Zach Plus is not taking the stool. And Rocky, if you're in the corner of Jake Halsey, what are you telling him? I'm telling him you gotta go for broke. Now's, now's it. You, you kinda gotta feel like you're down two rounds. You gotta leave everything you got in this round. And you're going for a knockout or going for a submission. And of course, a good corner will tell you that. A good corner won't lie to you and tell you all you're doing great. When you're not, this fight is up in the air. Halsey potentially down two rounds to none. And you know, Team JG is gonna tell their fighter that. Jake, you ready? Let's get up. Go round three. 
Zachary Flesses for Jake Halsey. Flesses again right away to the cage, working to get this fight to the ground. Fless is just all over this crackdown on this single leg. Good hits from Jake Halsey here, looking to scoot to the back. Halsey doing a really good job here, getting back to his feet and turning Flesses to the cage. We're having a little technical issue here on this video, but Halsey doing a good job of pinning Flesses on the cage here. Left side under hook now for Halsey. Fless is back still on the cage. Fless is able to circle off. And we see good head position from Zach Fless as he sneaks in the end. Halsey sneaks in an uppercut. Fless is goes for this outside trip with a good wizard. Zach Fless is there, but a good attempt. Fless is just smacking Halsey Look, in the see ear. Where, see where Halsey's head is. He's just kind of resting it on the yeah. shoulder of Flesses, and that's what enabled Flesses to be able to get his back off of that cage. Halsey needs to get his forehead under the chin of Flesses. I mean, Flesses is literally just smacking. Oh, good right hand as they break. And Halsey sneaks in a right uppercut. Flesses with the right hand, left head kick straight to the snatch single, the crackdown that we've seen so many times tonight. Again, Fless is relentless with the combinations into the level change right into the takedown. And in the end of this third round, we're going to see, does Halsey have the juice in this open, excuse me, closed guard to throw up these submission attempts again? This is the Hail Mary time. We're going to see if, if Halsey has it, it in him to do it. Well, we saw it in round one, Alex. He does have the ability to throw up some submissions. Oh, big ground and pound from Zach Flesses. And Halsey has to turn and give up his back. A massive punch lands. That choke in there. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Fless is just all over Jake Halsey. Fless was sneaking in the choke. He tried to finish that fight from the beginning of round one until the end of round three. What a fight. Great stuff for both of these guys. Zach. Good display by both guys here tonight. Great sportsmanship from both fighters as well. As soon as the bell rings. Jake Halsey helps Flesses up. Flesses gives Halsey a pat on the butt. How about the relentlessness of Zachary Flesses? That dude was coming forward with a punch every single position he was in here tonight. I mean, what Flesses just did is what makes Khabib Nurmagomedov so scary. You know what he's going to do, and you can't stop it. That's it. You know what I'm going to do? Let's see you stop it. That's a prime example. So scary. I mean, it, it's a bit of an oversimplification. Flesses, of course, was throwing in good high and low strikes as well. But the most part of Flesses' game plan was really get takedowns and finish on top. And he really did that for nine straight minutes. Another fantastic showing here tonight for the Rufus Sport crew. Yeah, by all indications, I think that they're going to probably move to 2-0 and on the evening. Excuse me, 3-0 and on the evening with one more up in the air with co-main event, Imar Hernandez taking on Alex Trauber. Another barn burner on the way, yeah. Alex. I mean, these Rufus Sport guys come to town. They, they are not coming here to play games. They're coming to here to fight and bang and punch and kick and scrape by. We're going to go to ring announcer Lance Green for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of three grueling rounds, 
All three judges see this the same. 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner, Zachary Achilles Flesser! An absolute dominant performance, really, from Zach Flesser there. What an entertaining guy. And he called his shot. He said that he was going to be the better fighter everywhere, and it really was. All the way up with the same ones that was down from the jump. Day one, same ones been around when the ain't funds. Even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one.